It is a beautiful day in Northeast Ohio, and I'm going down to the creek to see what I can catch. I brought my fly rod with me, but did more rock flipping than fishing. I'm glad I did because I ended up catching some pretty cool animals. Ugh. Whoa, Helgramite. Oh, he's biting me. Come on. Helgramites are aquatic larval macroinvertebrate that grows up to be a Dobson fly. This Helgramite was extra friendly. This creek was loaded with crayfish. Almost every rock I flipped had a crayfish underneath it. A good way to catch crayfish is to pinch their body behind their head. I saw a few tadpoles and some slack water. I'm not 100% sure what kind these were, but eventually it will grow to be a frog. Here's another Helgramite clinging onto the rock I flipped. Helgramites spend most of their time underneath rocks in a creek. I looked down and saw this common mud puppy blending into the creek bottom. These are some of my favorite amphibians and I was so stoked to see this one. Mud puppies live their entire lives in the water and use their gills to breathe. Their gills can be either large or small depending on the oxygen levels where they are living. Holy moly, that is cool. I wanted to get a better look at this mud puppy, but they are so slippery and incredibly fast. Unfortunately, I lost it in the riffles. Oh man. This rock had three queen snakes underneath it. These snakes are highly aquatic and feed primarily on crayfish, so they are living large at this creek. I caught a few pickerel frogs throughout the day. These frogs produce toxic skin secretions that can be harmful to small animals, so I made sure to wash my hands before picking up other animals. This creek had a high diversity of fish species, however, I could not catch or identify many of them. Fortunately, I saw the stone cat mad tom swim close to this rock. Stone cat mad toms are secretive catfishes, so people generally do not see them. They are also an indicator of high water quality. This little deer mouse made a nice little home underneath this rock. I was surprised to see it so close to the river, but who doesn't want waterfront property? Here's a beautifully colored up northern water snake. Usually these snakes are rather feisty, but this one was relatively docile. Under this rock was a two-line salamander. Unfortunately, it was pretty tough to catch and it got away. This stream was also abundant with mayfly larva. This is another macroinvertebrate like the Helgramite that lives part of its life in the water and will transform into a mayfly and live the rest of its life in the air. Here's good old one claw. I'd love to know the backstory of why he lost his claw. Like the stone cat mad tom, helgramites are indicators of stream health and only live in well oxygenated and clean water. I had to do a little crayfish noodling to get this crayfish in its hole. It's a little less exciting than catfish noodling, but still fun.
There are many creek chubs and other fish species living underneath the rocks. I'd love to come back to the creek with the seine and see which species were living here. This creek is definitely clean and it passes the stone cat mad tom and helgramite test. This was a two for one catch. I caught this little grub on my finger and also this friendly little green frog. This queen snake had a lighter tint to its scales and was probably ready to shed soon. Big flat rocks are great rocks to flip to look for animals by a creek. When you are flipping rocks, it's best that you remove the animals underneath the rock so they don't get squished. But if you can't remove them, make sure to put the rock down gently. Although it's not the most flashy animal, there is a bunch of slugs underneath the rocks too. Crayfish like to burrow and live in holes, and under this rock was a crayfish living in an underground hole connected to the river. The Helgramites were so friendly at this creek. I had a great time catching all these animals at the creek. Hopefully this video inspires you to do some rock flipping yourself. Thank you all for watching and supporting my channel. Holy moly, that is a big crayfish. Nice.